you make contact on the video, it shows you uh, make contact with Mr. Milby right outside the front of his car. Is that correct? Correct. And uh, where were you again when you made contact? Where did you come from? Uh, just down Armory Drive. Um, did he say anything to you when you made contact? Um, he did. And what did he say? Um, he said he was the only shooter. Yes. Um, what did you see after you uh, got Mr. Milby into the ambulance? Um, I started walking back um, over towards Officer Dallas and saw him standing in front of a squad car. What did you see <clears throat> happening to Officer Dallas at that time? Uh, I saw him starting to have an emotional response to the incident that had just occurred. <clears throat> um, and as a sergeant of the Dixon Police Department and a combat officer of the United States Army, what was going through your mind as you saw Officer Dallas in that safety? Um, I was very concerned for him. Um, I've seen <clears throat> a lot of combat. I've seen death, child and death investigations. And I have never experienced a more frightening situation in my career in the military or law enforcement to know that um, there could possibly be dead children in the gym. That's what's going through my head. I'm thinking <clears throat> that uh, Officer Dallas, <clears throat> excuse me, has to now carry this burden. Uh, we prepare for these types of scenarios. We train for them. Never in our lives do we think in our small town that this is going to happen, and it's just unfolding uh, right before our eyes and. and we see physical injuries, uh, but the reality is that, that Officer Dallas, Coach McKay, everyone involved has to deal with the emotional um, trauma that comes with this type of thing. I don't have any other questions. Mr. Arnquist. Yes, very briefly, Your Honor. Sure. I have a question from here. Would you like me there? Wherever you're comfortable. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Officer. Good morning. On the date in question, You said that you uh, helped or you assisted Mr. Milby to an ambulance, is that correct? Correct. And Mr. Milby had been hit by gunfire, is that correct? Correct. And he was shot at him in the shoulder, is that correct? That's what I observed, correct. And other than Mr. Milby, no one else was physically injured or shot that day, correct? Correct. I have no further questions, sir. Anything based on that? No, you're right. You may step down, Sergeant. Thank you very much. Sure.